Right, good morning from the Grant League Grade 9 Boys H Tour for 2022. We're out here at Cozy Bay, morning one. Had a bit of a wet night, so uh, we're going to go and have a look at how the boys have got on. Uh, we arrived yesterday afternoon, and the groups were given a sheet of plastic, some string, and a couple of poles to work with. So each of the groups have to make their own shelter last night. Uh, unfortunately, they encountered a bit of a downpour early hours of this morning. So we're going to just go take a walk, see how they've got on overnight and uh, see how their shelters have held up. Okay, this is our first shelter over here. This one I actually quite liked. I thought the boys were pretty clever with this. They've got a good angle going on their, on their roof. They haven't made it too high. They've kept it nice and low to the ground. Good 45 degree angle for the water to come off. But uh, unfortunately... Oh, there we go. We've got a smiling face. It doesn't look too bad. Right. right. We're going well this morning, guys. Morning, sir. Morning, boys. Right. Are we dry? Yeah, we're dry, sir. Are we happy? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Well, we've got a long day to go. Smiles might be gone at the end of the day. Right. Did water come in last night? Ah, uh, no, sir. Bit in the middle. All right. No, good. Otherwise, it held up. Yes, Okay. Well, I think our rain is done for the week, so I think the worst is over. Yeah, I don't think it's raining again. You guys should be all right. All right, so we still thumbs up. Yes, sir. Nice one. Right, this is our second shelter. I'm not overly convinced about this one, but hopefully it was more practical than it is aesthetic. Uh, not the prettiest looking shelter, but it may have held up. They've gone for a little bit of a different structure, got nice and high on their on their roof and given them some space. So boys, how do we hold up in the rain? Hey, a good space in yeah. Yeah. All sleeping in the sand though. No, no plastic on the <laughs> no, on the floor. We're still, we're still working out on it. No, we can cut it through. You're still working it. Yes, sir. All right. Well, hopefully the rain's over and uh, you only be dry from now. No, no, no points for beauty in this in this shelter though. Eh? <laughs> Goodness me. As we're just going to pan around and have a look at the walk that we got today. That's uh, Mozambique to our north. And then the boys are going to be headed up onto those sand dunes over there. We're going to do a big circle, head back south. And then we're going to end up having lunch. There's the cozy mouth over there. And then later this afternoon, probably six hours after our start, we're going to head back home up through the, the lake system over there. There's the cozy lake system and the, the fish crawls, not sure if you can see that, and then we'll head back up towards camp. So yeah, about six hours of walking, where it looks absolutely pristine, beautiful coastal forest over here, some wetlands, some lakes that we're going to go past. Uh, boy, should have an epic day. Nice work, well done. Keep going. Keep going, use the trees to pull up. That's it, well done Sam. Yeah, work your way up to the next tree, pull yourself up. Go, 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 up, up. Grab the tree, grab the tree, well done. Well done. Oh, only halfway up boys. Well done, you good Casey? Alright, take your time bud. Right, here's our group of tired boys, two hours into the into the hike. 
Only two hours. Jake, and what we got to say, bud? The walk was a bit long. It was a bit long. We only two hours. We haven't finished. Don't, don't talk in the past tense. It's still present tense, bud. We walked in like 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Everybody was watching. You made it, didn't you? All right. To see this view. Excellent. So I'm here with uh, Luca and Mvula after, after day two. I uh, just wanted to reflect and see how, how their day went. Uh, question number one, boys. Um, the amount of crying that happened today, what was that all about? <laughs> yeah, so there was no <laughs> crying, honestly. No one cried. So that walking, I don't, I don't so. know what you're talking about. Sir. No crying happened today. No crying right, so my eyes have deceived me. Yes, sir. I, I apologize for that. All right. <laughs> what, what did we enjoy most about today? So just the, the social environment, sir. Of like being interactive with other friends. <laughs> so I enjoyed the, mm. the beach. Mm. That was that was really nice. Mm. I really enjoyed the beach. The mm. walk, so the walk. You see the my walk, calf, sir. So. Yeah. Yeah. There's nice. The, there's nice the exercise. The walk so. back. Mm. Not there. Not there. Because the swamp. Woo. I think everyone. Yeah, swamp. So our socks and your socks knee. Socks and everything were wet. Right. Then be very careful with with this answer what what was the the least enjoyable thing about today nothing was least nothing sir. Uh, honestly honestly come back here next year yeah we'll come back here it felt it felt good now so i'll come back sir 24 hours and we we've got a good result from you guys is there anything you want to say to your parents at this stage Yo, mom, mom and dad eh? You. Oh, i miss your cooking <laughs> i just want your food mom that's all and the rest is fine that, and that's why we come on ash <laughs> <laughs> So this is a look at our second walk. Uh, boys are just heading down towards the water now. So you can see we're heading south today. That's uh, the main estuary system coming up from the mouth. And there's Lake 1 and Lake 2 away in the distance where we're going to do a cross. So we're going to cross somewhere at Lake 1 over there. We'll go back east towards the, the dunes over there, up and over the dunes, and then back onto the beach. And then we'll approach the mouth from uh, the southern point uh, today. So again, another five or six hours of walking. Wind is absolutely moving it at the moment. So it's going to be a very interesting walk back into the, the northeastly of the last couple of kilometers. Uh, Oaks are going to be tired from there, but yeah, it looks absolutely stunning. I think it's going to be a great walk. Face in your face
Right boys, so you've pushed just over 20 k's today. We've been out just over seven hours. Uh, what was most enjoyable today? The walking. The walking, no. The The lakes. Refreshing yeah. Walking across the lake. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah, forget yeah, the yeah, food, Jim. Yeah. The peanut butter. Getting back home. The, the peanut butter. butter. Oh, we're actually not home. Right, then I also just wanted you to comment on, I've, I've heard some rumours that uh, a few guys have done push-ups uh, here and there. I must admit, I, I don't know if this is true or not. Have, have there been any push-ups done about, during Aish? No, 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 nothing, nothing done. Yeah, I've been here for three years and I yeah, don't know no, anything no, about that. No push-ups, nothing. No push-ups, nothing. All right. No, okay. Just, just fun and, right. and is is there anything you would maybe want to comment on the teachers who have brought you at this stage? Yeah, Any? Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you guys embarrass us, honestly. I mean, we, we've tried to make this stay as, as comfortable as possible, but honestly, that's that's very that's very touching. Thank you, guys. I didn't I didn't expect that. Really didn't expect yeah, that. that. So the, the tent you provided to us was so comfortable. So you entered oh, yourself. Though. Absolute pleasure. Bro. Dude, we walk with you. We, all of us. We walk with you up that mountain that's difficult for you guys. Down on the beach. We get wet. We're in the water and so forth. Um, all to grow you. All to get you guys, first of all, to understand that you guys come from different backgrounds, number one. Number two, to understand that the life that you guys are living right now, the life that you guys are living back home in Richards Bay and Tanzini, wherever you are, is a blessing. Yeah. You've got, you don't need to see your friends, you don't need to walk two kilometers, three kilometers to your friend's place just to go and hang out with them. You can just WhatsApp them, you can video call them, you can have a discussion over the phone. The life that you guys live when you get back home is a blessing. Brought upon you by your parents, yes, but it's a, it's a blessing. That's number one. Number two, you don't need to depend on the aunt that's prepping the meals at your house or your mom every morning. You guys prepped your own meals today. Some of you guys for the first time ever. Some of you guys actually learned how to cook oats or how to do something or how to make a tuna and mayo sandwich here. Because it's always handed over to you in a, in a tray, on a tray. I want, you, I want this experience for you guys to be where you guys realize that I, I think I'm young, I'm too young to do specific stuff, but I'm not. I can, I, can, I can do this in a worldly manner, I can do this in a biblical manner where I can take David from the Bible, the last born in his family. The entire nation was afraid of Goliath and he was the chosen one to go and say, God said, okay, cool, I choose you, the smallest one, the one that everyone doubts, to go and take down the biggest O, the O that your bigger brothers, your kings, and everyone else is afraid of. And this is a this is a, some, something that's supposed to stick into your minds. Just because you're small, just because you're young, just because you're the youngest in your family, or you're in grade nine, apparently, does not mean that you cannot do something that you're supposed to do. Does not mean that you can you cannot do something because ah, but if. Um, a big oak in, in grade 11 or matric has failed, then who am I to even attempt this? You guys need to get out of that mindset. You need to change that mindset starting from today. You guys need to say, yes, I'm small. Yes, I'm young. Yes, I don't know, but I'm willing to try. You guys are broken, but you're here. You guys are still united. You're still laughing. You're still in a circle. And you, you guys are still buddies. And that's what we're trying to get into your minds. 